But that's the wheel I needed to turn. Okay, now I see. down that's not good Feels like this entire place is trying to prevent me from exiting. Isn't there any light source nearby? Please turn that on. Now let's see. Well, I will soon turn off and see how this entire recording went. Wonder if the game is so good I cannot stop it right now. I don't need to. Off this gooey stuff. I definitely don't like what I'm doing. Well let's see now. so dark. Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Keep going straight and make sure not to stray. start meeting enemies it seems like yes an option. There's a PSA. This don't give me much license. 22nd of June, 1839. 
It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Somebody broke through it sound like. I can see right now I can see nothing. This is not where I came from. Good. I was in doubt for a poor moment that I was going back and forward. I'm not seeing Emma right now. That taste. That fragrance. The mask of rose. Twenty fifth of June, eighteen thirty nine. I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. Yesterday, I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Interesting. I think I'm gonna die soon. My sanity is too low to properly hide in case I need it. And he cannot look straight anymore. That's wonderful. I think I'm going back now actually. I have no clue on where I'm going. Let's try this door. Okay, I've definitely been in here. Let's try this one. Okay, let's try this one. I'm gonna die soon. What the 
hell? I'm gonna go insane as soon as I run out of uh, lantern oil. Well, that's not good. Trying to find another way into the back room. Hmm. And I also don't have any tinder boxes left. You get out of the way. Damn it! Stop doing that. <laughs> now I can go back if I need to. Wasn't this progress? Come on. Need some help. Ah, let's see what's in here. So it's in the boxes. Something must be clogging up the pulley. Oh, I see. I'm not close enough to it. Hmm, I can remove that. That looks very stable. Or not. What I would like would be the ability to turn the barrel upside down. Something like that. So I can jump on top of that one. Hmm. Oh! Progress! Yeah, now I'm not seeing it. Okay. I'm gonna end it here for now, so on to the next one, farewell. Yeah,